Our final award of the evening is the Businessman of the Year, which recognizes exceptional and outstanding business leaders. Our winner tonight joins a stellar cohort of business luminaries who have received this award over the years. Can we have the video, please? Sometimes, all it takes is a novel idea and a nudge to change the course of history and make an impact on the world. A spherical camera lenses, stainless steel smartwatch straps, hinges and laptops. These items are part of everyday life, mostly imperceptible. We never think about them. Yet these items utilize a vital material, wear-resistant carbon. Just one of the many materials developed by Dr. Shi Su, Executive Chairman and Founder of Nanofilm Technologies International. His multi-billion dollar business didn't start off with the intent of being a business. In fact, it had its humble beginnings in a research lab in Nanyang Technological University and was part of Dr. Shi's academic research on thin film technology. This led to Dr. Shi leaving the world of academia to go into business, a world foreign to him and a precarious move given the stability which academia afforded him. I always think that uh, a person to uh, let my background from academia go into business, first of all, you must have the passion. You must have the conviction on what you are doing. Right? You must believe in the technology you are doing, and you must believe in science. And then you must be able to learn. Right? So I always say I use the acronym like P dive. Like the P is for passion, and D for determination. Right? I for innovation, and the V for vision, and the E execution. So we first started as a equipment supplier for hard disk drive industry. But then uh, in a couple of years time after we started the company, the whole hard disk industry went downtrend. And there was a, a huge consolidation. And our customers from like 15, 16 customers down to uh, one or three. And uh, we, one time we always went into the, the situation that uh, we have uh, dried up all the cash flow. How are we going to face it? Are we going to just, you know, let things go. So for us is we choose to fight. And so I cut my salary by half and almost to down to a minimum and to ease the cash flow and quickly lead the whole company to open up other areas, to look for coating services for example, to look for a quick revenue increase. And and that give us also a lesson. We should not just bank on one particular industry, and we need to be more diversified. Our strength is a deep tech company, and we can address multiple applications in so many different industries. I think he has always held an unwavering you know, inner belief you know, that uh, his revolutionary uh, type of uh, innovation will one day take off. There were a couple of major milestones for Nanofilm. The first being uh, the management buyout that Dr. Shi led in 2001 where he took the company uh, private um, as the majority shareholder. Then in 2010, um, the decision to move into what we call 3C business, supplying uh, coating services to parts of smartphones and tablets and so on. That also put the company on a very, very strong uh, growth trajectory. And the latest milestone naturally is the listing. With the resources, we expect to grow the company very significantly under Dr. Shi's leadership. He has the ability to have very fundamental first principle understanding of technology, which I think is important, where you could really get a sense, is this technology going to bring a lot of value to the customer? He has also the ability to harness multiple engineering disciplines to put together, in my view, a product proposition that is relatively competitive on the global stage. He was building a company that he hoped would break into the Japanese market. They go to the Germans to buy. So buying from a Singapore company, uh, especially coming from established Japanese company brand names, to select the products that Dr. Shi have made, it's to me uh, also a very, very major milestone. 
Presently, the company has over 300 customers across various industries and owns four production facilities situated in Singapore, Shanghai, Yicheng, and Haidong, Vietnam. Its Advanced Materials Unit is a leading provider of surface solutions based on its proprietary vacuum coating technologies and advanced materials. This technology is used in everyday gadgets like smartphones, laptops, and wearables like watch straps. Over the years, Nanofilm's products have garnered a loyal customer base, with notable ones being tech heavyweights such as Huawei, Microsoft, Fuji Xerox, Canon, and Nikon. Nanofilm now has more than a dozen cornerstone investors. Since going for IPO, the business has raised more than $470 million, taking the company's market value to $1.9 billion. And the future is looking bright for the company, with an arsenal of achievements under its belt. Being a successful entrepreneur, you need to have your mindset correct. Your ultimate goal is to provide something the market needs. And you should really set aside the fame or, or wealth. If you think too much about them, and that will impede your progress. Success is just one milestone, right? It reflects your past, and it doesn't represent your future. Right? So uh, we should build upon our past success to think a bit more how to leverage on what we have and to provide better and more to the society in future. Dr. Shisu's journey from being an esteemed academic to one of the most successful businessmen in Singapore today is truly remarkable. His story is a story of brilliance and sheer tenacity, a story that will inspire generations to come. May I now invite our Businessman of the Year, Dr. Shi Su, founder and executive chairman of Nanofilm Technologies International, to come on stage to receive the award. May I also invite guest of honor, Minister of Trade and Industry, Mr. Gan Kim Yong, up on stage to present the award. For your vision in successfully taking Nanofilm from the lab to the marketplace, as an SGX-listed multinational. And this is a Business Awards tradition, an exquisite portrait of our new boy, painted by renowned Singapore artist, Mr. Siu Hock Ming, to be treasured and displayed. Dr. Shi to say a few words, please. Thank you, Mr. Gan, once again, and congratulations to all the winners. Mr. Gan Kinyong, Minister for Trade and Industry, fellow Singapore Business Award recipients, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's truly a great honor for me to receive the Businessman of the World of the Year Award. My journey as a businessman was unplanned and not the usual path taken from an academic, particularly back in 1999 when I started Nanofilm Technologies International after leaving a tenured associate professorship at Nanyang Technological University. There have been many supporters and friends over the years who have helped me. These include my former colleagues at NTU, my customers along my commercial journey, my academic friends all over the world, my business and banking partners, and my fellow colleagues in the company. Special thanks must be given to NTU which gave me the research fundings and the freedom to pursue a daring research project and adventure as a spin-up business back in the days where researcher businessmen were rare in Singapore. 
My thanks also goes out to Economic Development Board, which provided critical fundings in the beginning of our venture. Similarly, to Enterprise Singapore for the technical development fundings over the years and for your international connections. As you recognize me today with this award, I would like to take these precious moments to also thank my dearest family members. Xiao Qing, my wife, who has always been there for me and been a supportive and stabilizing force to help me through this exhilarating journey, sometimes under the most adverse conditions. And Jane and Matthew, my daughter and son, for their understanding and the tolerance, as I have not always been able to be with them when they were growing up. Commercializing a technology is never easy, and it is particularly difficult for a deep tech it is very challenging to bridge the gulf between a deep technology space and a marketplace. The long and challenging development journeys, relatively long sales cycles, lack of talents in the right fields, and the limited access to fundings are some factors that can easily derail the plans of any deep tech entrepreneurs. So what is indeed needed to be a successful deep tech entrepreneur? Perhaps I can share some of my own thoughts and observations. The first thing you will need is passion. If you do not love what you're doing, you are going to easily give up. Secondly, you will need a vision, like how your company and its products can make positive impact to people's lives. What follows next is determination, basically setting your sights on what, you are, on what you want to achieve on a daily basis and just do it, whatever, no matter what happens. Closely related to this is execution. This is when you realize that you cannot do it all alone and I need a strong team of like-minded, talented people who share your vision and with whom you can trust to execute the company's plans. But it does not stop there. The last ingredient is innovation. A company has to constantly innovate, especially if you want to compete in a dynamic global economic situation. You must have the ability to change and adapt in order to survive. In the case of nanofilm, the success of commercializing FCV technology and our coatings was by no means assured. We have our own share of challenges over the years, and we were very fortunate to have good global customers and partners who worked closely with us to overcome those challenges. Our Cydrogen Energy joint venture with Tomasic is an example of bringing a deep tech product into the global market. Sajun will be a major contributor to tackle the global climate change. As Sajun embarks on its exciting growth path, I hope the ecosystem in Singapore will continue to support this game-changing venture. Nanofilm will continue her growth path as a deep tech company to bring a variety of deep technologies into different markets. I'm glad that I have a strong team in place with my new CEO, Gary Ho, at the helm to help co-drive the company into its next stage of growth. While I can focus more on my passion on bringing new technologies into people's daily lives. I was very much inspired by Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kia's recent speech talking about the Research, Innovation, and Enterprise 2025, or RIE 2025, where he mentioned that in order to move towards the innovative driving, innovation driving, or innovation driven, knowledge based economy, Singapore must be prepared to invest 
in innovation efforts across different time horizon and have patient capital for changes that require long gestation. In his speech, DPM also introduced the concept of a flywheel of innovation, where the initial turns are the hardest, and after that, you build up momentum. I hope to contribute to this effort through our deep tech commercialization so that Singapore can become not only a wealthy, but a strong country too. Thank you for this Businessman of the Year Award. Thank you so much, Dr. Xu.